Dolphins are a complete social animal. Dolphins have been known to make open mouth displays. They will also fight. And we've seen examples of one-on-one -on -one fights where there'll be jaw claps or tail hits or rams between individuals. Or sometimes they'll fight in groups. We don't always know what they're fighting about. I would imagine it might be access to toys or mates or food or different things. Uh, but we have seen cases of fights, both individual and in groups. A calf, like any young animal, has quite a few dangers uh, to their survival as they, as they grow. Dolphin calves are precocious. They, they're born tail first, they take their first breath, and they have to swim and keep up with mom. But they still have to face the dangers of uh, adult males. They have to face the dangers of currents and getting to the surface of the breeze. They have to face the dangers of bad weather. There are sharks out there, a variety of different individuals. They may also just be in the wrong place at the wrong time when there's rambunctious activity going on. At one point, I observed this young, well, young female. She had, she had had one or two calves. This was her second or third calf with her. And these sub-adult, young adult males were trying to get her calf, to isolate the calf from her. I can only believe that they were going to try to kill it to bring the female into estrus more quickly. And the, the people were swimming towards these animals. And I'm trying to swim away from these animals and wondering where the boat was because it was not anywhere nearby. And the female kept bringing her calf near me. In fact, twice this calf actually bumped once my shoulder, once my array. And, I mean, it was, it was sort of mixed feelings. I was, I was worried for, for her, trying to be objective, worried for her and trying to make sure that the males wouldn't get the calf. I didn't really do anything, but also not come after me because, you know, there's this calf being protected by me and the mom and the males are a little irritated. And, and uh, so I was watching all that and trying to get away from the group as much as possible. And that was kind of hard because the mom kept coming towards me. And so I wasn't really away from the group. And at one point she was able to move off from them a bit and the other young females came in closer and they moved off and a few days later we saw her again with her calf and we've seen that calf repeatedly so it did survive the attempt by the, the males to get the calf but it was a little nerve-wracking for myself especially when you get out of the water and the, the humans are like wow that was really cool and it was awesome and you're thinking oh my god these people are nuts I believe that dolphins have friends, they have individuals they hang out with most, and then they probably also have dolphins that they really would prefer not to see at periods of time. Uh, we tend to see more the friends because they're together, so we give high coefficients of association, which is a term to measure friendships and, and relationships in individuals. Kibiwade and Ringo-chan are two of the dolphins that we've seen actually exchange a contact call, or what some individuals, some scientists might call a signature whistle exchanged between individuals, and they alternated. At one point, Hibiwade whistled, and then Ringo-chan came over. At another point, Ringo-chan whistled, and Hibiwade came over. It's not something that is overt, that everybody would witness in terms of that for a contact call and then a, a reunion, but it's something that over 30 or 60 seconds you can watch, and they, they're moving slowly with each other, and each time they came together, there was a pectoral fin to body rub. I would have to say that Ringo-chan and, and Hibiwade are, are friends.